how did my love for the horror genre begin? Um, it was actually when I was eight. Um, my brother bought Army of Darkness on Laserdisc, and I had no idea what I was watching, but I was I was amazed by just it was creepy, it was silly, and then honestly, I didn't really get too much into horror besides that until like high school, early late high school, early college, and then I actually went back to the Sam Raimi, you know, pile. So I actually watched Evil Dead 2 first, and then I went to the first Evil Dead. And then after that, it turned into Freddy Krueger and then so on and so forth. But I would say Sam Raimi was kind of my gateway to the horror genre. Um, yeah, and then after that, for the for the horror, for the big, you know, horror icons, definitely uh, Freddy Krueger is my all-time favorite. And that got me into um, horror in general. What made me want to become a filmmaker? Well, I've been a movie geek all my life. My brother was a big influence uh, with that. And um, I, oh, at first I wanted to be a stuntman when I was really young. And then I started watching Jackie Chan films. And I'm like, I don't want to hurt myself. And then I wanted to, you know, um, just still be in that profession. So uh, I would say like four or five years ago, I started uh, writing. I, I started writing shorts and whatnot. And then I would say around two years ago, I, I wrote and directed my first short. And then after that, I just really kind of I just got the feel of it and I just was like, you know, this is kind of fun. Directing actually is really fun. And, uh, and I've been doing it kind of ever since I've been, I have like four or five shorts out there already besides, um, a lobe that you're, uh, screening, uh, for the Sarah for festival. And, um, yeah, I, I, I love it. And I, I definitely want to keep, keep going with this because yeah, directing's fun, honestly. <laughs> How did I come up with a story for Elope? Um, well, I always wanted to dabble in the found footage genre. And uh, I know this might be a little controversial to say, but I wanted to write characters um, successfully that the Blair Witch Project didn't, and that's have write likable characters. So, um, but thank God I have two amazing uh, actors, uh, Leticia Perez and Rob uh, Alejo. And um, they they had great chemistry. They've known each other for years. And I've actually known them for like, you know, five, six, seven years. And I've always wanted to, well, I've worked with Leticia Perez on most of my shorts that I've, that I've uh, directed. Rob was the first time I've worked with on this short. And, uh, but again, but uh, we've all known each other for quite some time. And, uh, and I thought they, you know, and I've always knew that they had great chemistry because they've been friends for a long time. So I thought I need to put them in a short. And, um, and that's, that's what it basically is. So what's been the most challenging and the most rewarding while filming? What has been the most challenging and the most rewarding while filming your projects? Uh, the most challenging is trying to find the right people to work with um, because I, I worked with one writer before that was very difficult to work with. And, um, but mainly I, be, I usually write my own shorts, but uh, I've been working with a writer recently. Uh, her name is Cassandra Santos. Uh, she plays the monster in, um, uh, she plays the, the, the monster in Elope. And yes, yeah, she wrote at least uh, two uh, two shorts for me, and hopefully more after you know later on. I think we're working on one pretty soon. And um, yeah, just work just working with the right people and working with people that you click with. Um, that's that's the most challenging thing is to find the people that you that you need to click with. The most rewarding is basically finding those people. <laughs> Uh, to work with and because mo most of the people that I've worked with in my shorts um, I've worked with constantly throughout 
the five, six shorts I've done. Um, but yeah, that's the most rewarding thing. And also the biggest reward is actually watching it with an audience that all the, like the, the hard work you, uh, you did for this, for the shorts. Um, yeah, it's the audience seeing their reaction to it that they've never seen it before. And just, uh, especially, you know, with a lope, um, I've seen it, I've seen it twice, two, three times with an audience and the, uh, their reaction was just so amazing to see. And I really hope when you watch the short, if you're, if you didn't watch it yet, uh, I hope you have the same response. And I, I can't, I would love to hear your responses to the uh, short. What horror films are currently my favorites? Well, I just saw two recently at Beyond Fest in Los Angeles that just wrapped up recently. Um, one of them is called Satanic Hispanics, uh, which is a uh, kind of a Latin Tales from the Crypt. It's a horror anthology and it was, it's all done by uh, Latin film, uh, four Latin filmmakers. Uh, there's another film I saw was called uh, Kids vs. Aliens from Jason Eisner, uh, the man who brought, uh, who made Hobo with a Shotgun. Um, that was a fantastic, uh, it's, a R, it's a R rated, horror kids horror film and it just it, there's a lot of great practical effects a lot of great you know melting off skin scenes and like it, it's it's an it's an incredible piece of work and it doesn't come out till next year but uh when you see it please check out kids versus the aliens and i don't know when Sat satanic hispanics comes out but hopefully that should be coming out soon but yeah definitely check that out too so yeah those are my two favorite uh horror films that i've watched of recent 